Good morning or good afternoon, Rye Guy here. This is a long, long overdue video. Um, as you see, I just pointed out, I'm still wearing my Blaze Orange. I believe this was recorded in late October going into early November. I can't even remember right now. It's honestly, it's been so long. I haven't been on the bike for since this last video. So, yep. Yeah, it's not really a good excuse, is it? Um, yeah, today we're actually trying to find our way up to uh, the town of Morden. Um, actually, it started off as just an exploration to try to see if we can reach the water's edge. Um, I'll leave some GPS links as we go through this video here, just so you can kind of, uh, you know, see exactly where we're at. But th this is leaving from the Berwick area um, in the Annapolis Valley in Nova Scotia. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of making our way up through here. I've never done these trails before. Some of these trails actually are marked on the snowmobile trails as snowmobile trails. I'm not quite sure if they're maintained by the snowmobile club, but, uh, anyway, they are marked on some of the Kings County ATV trail maps and also on the Sands, which is the Snowmobile Association in Nova Scotia, Zone 3. So, anyway, yeah, we're being led by Bruce here, and um, I, I can't remember if he said he did this run or not, but uh, anyway, this was just kind of a quick, kind of short run. It really wasn't that many miles or kilometers. I think it was a couple hours we were out, but uh, it was just nice to get out. Um, as you can see, there's obviously no snow on the ground there yet, but um, yeah, the leaves are definitely all off the trees, or mostly off the trees. But I will say, it was cold. I don't know if you can spot my heated grips on. But uh, they were definitely on during that run. And as you can see, I'm wearing my mittens. Oh, Fred Fred up ahead on that Grizzly 700 of his. Um, likes to get on and off the throttle every once in a while. You'll hear that. Hoping to get out with those guys for uh, another run here shortly, soon. Whenever I can get out. I'm actually on vacation. It is January, no, yeah, January. It's January 2021 now. January 13th, um, when I'm actually doing the voiceover for this. So, I haven't forgotten a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, there was Christmas, there was New Year's. I am actually on a staycation uh, away from work. I took a week off of work because I am just burnt out. It's been one of those years, I actually didn't take a vacation at all in 2020. Uh, just, no time. No time. And that, that again is no excuse because you need to make time for yourself. So that's why I'm hoping to maybe get out this Saturday. Because I haven't been on the bike and poor thing's been out there. Hopefully she'll start. Because I don't think it's even been started in a couple months. I'm re-watching this video as you're, you guys are watching it right now, and it's just like, I didn't remember the trail being that wet, but I guess it was. It, it, you know, this winter so far, I gotta say, I'm actually a little bit disappointed because we did not have any snow. We had one, I don't know if you, I don't even know if you want to call it a significant snowfall, but a, what did we have in the valley? Maybe 15 centimeters? And that was it. We got nothing. It's gonna be like it's cold tonight, but it's gonna be like eight degrees by the end of the week, which is just crazy for January. January, I remember it should be like minus fifteen. And here we are, like pushing five, six, seven, eight degrees. That's just weird. But uh yeah, as you can tell, short video here, because it's um we're already at the water's edge. Um, on the map, 
you will see, if you look up the GPS point, that this area here is kind of facing towards the Bay of Fundy. And the Bay of Fundy is known worldwide as having some of the highest tides in the world. Now, that road that you just saw off to the right-hand side, a little bit of a funny story, me and my wife actually were just doing some exploration around the Morton area, and uh, we came down that road in her Prius. As you can see, there's a little green Ford Fiesta there. Well, those guys, we found out, own that area right to the left-hand side, the immediate left-hand side, and they were trying to build a driveway up towards where their property is to go down to the water's edge by hand. So they had shovels and pickaxes and rakes. We actually had lunch right there by the water. It was cold. Cold, cold, cold. In fact, it was colder then than it is now. So here we are, we're going up that driveway that I said when we brought the Prius down. Yeah, no problem getting up or down. I'm just glad that we didn't try to make it up and over to the trail system where we came through there in the Prius. Because we thought about it, but it was pretty rocky going up. And uh, I don't know if anybody's ever owned a Prius or driven a Prius. You can't turn the traction control off at all. So you can't get any momentum. You can't rock the vehicle because it's got a CVT transmission in it. So if we were to get up there, we would have just been stuck. And it's not exactly the highest ground clearance in the world for a vehicle. That would have been a truck trip. So here we're coming through the town of Morton. City? Town? Village? Whatever. Morton. Uh, it's actually a beautiful little spot. Um, quiet. Very quiet. And right now we're heading towards the memorial and I do not normally record uh, driving on the streets like this. However, we got to be fair here in our assessment. No, fa no vehicles on the road, no traffic. People do this all the time on ATVs and snowmobiles. There's no problem. I see no problem in running an ATV down the side of the road, respectful, going slow, and just trying to get to go, just trying to get to where you want to go. I, I can't understand why that's so illegal. Pause the video when I kind of crouch down to show you here. Imagine what it was like back in 1755. Just listen to the wind. <laughs> it was like that the whole time we were driving close to the water here. <laughs> I want to post that so people see you still ATV. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's it's a nice little shot by here, Bruce. He gets a way more than I do. That's a survey marker. Well, there's th those survey markers are all across Nova Scotia. Yeah, it's actually how they recorded 
basically the landscape of Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia back in the day. Those survey markers go straight across the entire province in a line. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take a ferry today. I'd have to pound the gravel to me. Anyway, this is a short video, but it was nice to uh, look back and um, <laughs> go through this footage here again. So anyway, I'll hopefully get out soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Let's hope for a better 2021 for everybody. We'll see you guys in the next run. Rye guy out.